in Florida, North Carolina, Virginia, Alabama, Tennessee, and Nevada, in Haifa's Port Town Innovation Center, across Israel's central Gush Dan region. This is Mishorim. With a rare world-class portfolio of investment real estate, Mishorim is a public company traded on the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange with a 30-year track record of accomplishment. Over $800 million in asset, over 2.6 million square feet of real estate, a triple B-plus stable bond rating by Standard & Poor's in some of the strongest real estate markets in the world. Identify opportunities with yielding value add assets. Improve the property results, mainly by improving occupancy rate. Create added value by increasing their NOI and stabilizing property. Mishorim's U.S. portfolio is primarily centered in the southeast, including Oak Creek Village, Durham, North Carolina, Regency Court, Jacksonville, Florida, the shops at Arboretum, Richmond, Virginia, Wakefield Commons, Raleigh, North Carolina, the shops at Battle Bridge, Raleigh, North Carolina, Crestwood Festival Center, Birmingham, Alabama, DW Center, Newport News, Virginia, Dolly Madison Office Building, Greensboro, North Carolina, East Orlando Shopping Center, Orlando, Florida, Grants Mill, Irondale, Alabama, University Place Shopping Center, Huntsville, Alabama, Los Pasados Shopping Center, Boulder City, Nevada. Mishorim's investments focus on office buildings in Israel's growth cities, including Port Town, Haifa's Innovation Center, Afula Government Complex, Afek Park, Rosh Hayan, just 20 minutes from Tel Aviv, Rehovot, Rehovot Science Park, Israel's high-tech and innovation center. Ranana, a key city in Sharon region. Far Saba, a center of high-tech and light industry. Peta Tikva, two office and commercial buildings. Mishorim also owns 50% of Skyline Investments, a publicly traded company that owns and manages hotels and resorts in the U.S. and Canada, including over 13,600 acres of development lands, 13 courtyard by Marriott hotels in nine different states, Deerhurst Resort, Muskoka, Ontario, Blue Mountain Village, Collingwood, Ontario, Horseshoe Resort, Barrie, Ontario, Renaissance Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio, Hyatt Regency Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio, and Bear Valley Resort in Bear Valley, California. From Israel's innovation centers to America's booming Southeast, 30 years of experience, publicly traded, conservative, focused, and opportunistic. This is Mishorim Investments. Welcome to Tampa Bay's new home for shopping, events, entertainment, and dining, The Grove at Wesley Chapel. Mishareem Gold Properties recently purchased The Grove, which included over 604,000 square feet of shopping and dining space, included 18 national Class A tenants, like Outback Steakhouse, Best Buy, Dick's Sporting, and others. It also has available 1.3 million square feet of available property in which to build on. Mark Gold chose the property because Wesley Chapel is listed as the number three for favorite places to live in the U.S. It has grown over 674% over the last 10 years. The Grove is surrounded by over 176,000 residents within a 10-mile radius. It is listed as the fastest growing neighborhood in the Tampa Bay area. It's also listed as the fastest growing community in the southeastern U.S. and has an estimated 50,000 homes, either under construction or planned to be built over the next 24 months. It also includes over two miles of frontage on Interstate 75, where over 100,000 cars pass daily. Mark Gold has an amazing dream to create a one-of-a-kind destination where people all over Tampa Bay will come. 
His dream includes a 60-space container park with an emphasis on local, family-owned businesses from food to handcrafted art, family areas, and amphitheater for live entertainment, all types of restaurants and nightlife like Double Branch Brewery, and a 150-seat local restaurant. He also includes an entertainment complex located by the Cobb Theater that will include businesses like a trampoline park and weekly events to appeal to everyone. The Grove has over 100 acres of vacant property in which Mark Gold is willing to build to suit, attracting more restaurants and businesses to the area. The Grove is also propelling Wesley Chapel into a place not only to visit, but a place to call home. Join us in the dream for The Grove at Wesley Chapel, another Mishareem Gold property. A development designed to bring a lot of money to Irondale is getting close. It will be open for business in just over a month. Fox 6 News reporter John Huddleston got a preview of the new venue that has everything from a zip line to miniature golf. John? Yeah, Vanessa and Scott, it's called the station at Grant's Mill. It's right off I-20. And Irondale's mayor tells me today that he expects it to bring in hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue each year. Speaking of the mayor, he gave us a demonstration of the park's new zip line today. Tommy Joe Alexander has no fear to say the least. Matter of fact, he tells me He's a retired Birmingham police officer, and when you've trained to jump out of helicopters in 15-story buildings, there's really nothing to a zip line. The new entertainment park is being built in the parking lot of an old shopping center. Those shops are now mostly full, by the way. In addition to the zip line and shopping, the park will also feature a ropes course, miniature golf, and a competitive dog park. They've even brought in old train cars to the complex, and inside each one will be either a bar or a restaurant. It is something, and uh, this is going to draw crowds that uh, will bring people in to shop in our city and eat in our city. It's like really in the center, really easy, really easy, close to downtown, close to all the area around us. And the developer tells me he is hoping to open the new park by the end of September. Vanessa? Thanks a lot, John. Why has it taken so long for someone to look at this property with new eyes? It's a prime location after all, an estimated 90,000 people pass the University Drive site daily, which backs up to bustling Cummings Research Park. But if you happen to glance past the glittering frontage, you'd see many empty parcels and facades that seem to fade into the background. There was an out-of-state company that owned the shopping center for years, and they really didn't want to fill this space for whatever reason. That was their development reason. That all changed two weeks ago when Mark Gold purchased the property. He has plans to bring 13 new tenants to the shopping center, which he says he wants to fill with mom and pop shops before adding two or three national tenants. The new owner, Mark Gold, loves the South, and when he came to Huntsville, he fell in love with it. And he bought this center 70% vacant, and we now have it 70% full in two weeks. The tenants who've already leased space on the property include 24E Fitness, The Bookshelf, Big Bowl Thai Food, Wow Children's entertainment, perfect praise, early childhood music, creative bean coffee shop, village boutique, miracle ear, and a few restaurants, including a pizzeria. I don't believe that we've seen anything move that fast here in the Huntsville area. The first new shops should open within a few weeks. In Huntsville, David Wood, WHNT News 19. University Place's new owner, Mark Gold, also has plans to buy additional space elsewhere in Huntsville in the near future. So stay tuned to WHNT News 19 as we keep you updated on the revitalization. The Grove at Wesley Chapel offers over 600,000 square feet, which is currently occupied by an impressive roster of the nation's leading retailers. 98.4% of tenants are credit national tenants. With approximately 125 acres of commercially zoned land, the Grove can be developed with up to 1,373,392 square feet of additional retail and office to complement an already successful 15 to 30 percent above national average tenant roster. The Grove at Wesley Chapel plans to develop Crate Micro Shops, which will be an outdoor entertainment venue using recycled shipping containers to house food trucks, small retail art shops, restaurants and bars.